So today I'm just going to be telling you some things that I found out about box turtles that I thought maybe you guys would want to know. And I found out that box turtles are attracted, they can see in color, but they're attracted to the color red and orange the most. And I heard you can use as aspen bedding for them, and I heard it isn't dangerous at all for them. Also, they eat lots of fruit like kiwis, apples, raspberries, strawberries, mel melons, and it goes on from there. She obviously likes the bedding over the carpet. I would just keep bedding in there, but it's wood, so um, I don't want it to like hurt the pee and it to get moldy and disgusting and the wood to start rotting. That would be bad. Oh yeah, and then the walls have nothing on them and you can't see out them. Because it's better for them because if there's like glass, they get stressed out because they want out. So I like to use the solid wall better because they can't see out and they're not going to want out. They're not going to get stressed out. And also, um, you should probably wash your hands before handling them and after handling them just to make sure nobody gets any kind of germs from them or on them or to them or anything like that and then I was told lightning bugs should not be fed to turtles because they are poisonous to them if you guys didn't know that she's going after a piece of lettuce nope she's walking and also they shed like I did not know they shed at all nobody like even told me they shed um yeah they shed but they don't shed like snakes do they sh they shed like in patches they become like a dull color before shedding, and you shouldn't peel off the skin when they're shedding because they'll just fall off when it's ready. Because you don't want to peel it off if it's not ready because it could be painful. And, um, sh you should keep a large water dish like I do. My tank is shallow. She has that so she can grip and climb out. It's a pie pan, obviously, but it works. And if you don't, you could just keep a little thing like that. And you can just soak them like once or twice a week, which we'll do. And it's good to soak them because sometimes like they're constipated or it helps when like they're like they're shedding. Because they can soak and try getting the skin to come off. That helps too. My turtle is always constipated. Every time I soak her, she poops. And... You should wash your hands to stop spreading any kind of like, just like not spreading any kind of germs or anything or bacteria. And these things, these turtles, are excellent climbers. No joke. They are seriously good climbers. One time I put her in like um, a barred cage just so I could clean her tank. And she was like climbing up it. She likes this bedding. But yes, and um, coconut fiber, I heard, coconut fiber, fiber, I can't even say it right, is like a good substrate, or substance, or bedding, or whatever you want to call it, to use for the bottom of the cage, and I'm going to get tile put in the bottom of this, so I can put like bedding in it, and I have to worry about the wood rotting, or it getting moldy, or anything like that. So I'm going to put some tile in and I can just put coconut fiber and all that over it. And, um, yeah, they eat lots of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I just thought it'd be cool to tell you guys that, um, yeah, that, um, lightning bugs are poisonous and you should not feed them to them. And I just found that out today and I thought it was pretty cool and pretty interesting because I didn't know that. And, if you can see, they don't need much to be happy. A water dish so their beaks and nails don't get overgrown. A stone one. Stone. That keeps it hot because the heat lamp's right above it. Um, aspen bedding holds in a lot of heat. That's why I put it over here by the basing area. And over here is her little hiding space. A couple of fake plants make her feel like she's in the wild. Oh yeah, and then a color bone she never eats. Oh, a water dish she can soak herself in so I don't have to. Some lettuce, some tomatoes, um, some wood, and just some more fake little plants. And obviously she's running all over the place and she's happy. Nightlight. 
daytime basing light, heat lamp, basically same thing. UV bulb. And there you go, you got a happy turtle. And pretty soon tomorrow I'm going to go get her some kind of um, vitamin stuff to put on top of her salad to make sure she stays healthy. And I'm going to go get that tomorrow. And yeah, that's about it. Alright, well, cool. Just wanted to share some of those cool facts with you that I just found out that I didn't know before. She's going to go in the water. Oh, oh I think she wants to drink it. She could have drank out of her water dish, but... That's how she feels. Go in the water. Go in. Oh, she's just looking at it. Hmm. Maybe she's interested in the tile. Cause it's pretty cool looking tile with the blue. Maybe she's just confused what's in there. I don't know. But yep, that's just some stuff I felt like I should share with you guys. Some bedding. Oh, and the black things in the bedding are just like stones, like rocks. So don't freak out, they're not bugs, they're rocks. Yep, um, that's it. Later.